Hey, what's up guys and welcome back to Ask NK. Today we have news, review, updates, you know, a mixture of so many things. It's actually going to be an informative one. So, the other time where we did talk about Fuse, which is actually a tool that was created from Mixamo that you can use to create characters, exactly this tool right now. This tool that we also used in talking about how you can do quick animations at the same time. Now, we did talk about this tool being discontinued by Adobe. So within those period, there was a change that was made to Mixamo. This is not how the Mixamo website used to look like. So the original Mixamo website before this change came used to look like this. And now it looks like this, which I think is long overdue. So let's talk about the updates that have made their way to this one. So first updates you would notice is characters. There's a brand new set of characters that are now available, which makes things a little bit interesting. And that is one of the reasons why I'm showing you guys this. So in case you're going into character creation, you want to do some quick animation, you need some characters for your games. This is probably going to be one of the best places you should come check out first before you go through to start making those models, especially if you need generic characters that you want to work with. You don't want to sculpt all the way from ground up. You just need something that would serve as the base for your sculpt, for your model. Then you should consider checking this out. Other things that have also made their way here is animation. So there is brand new sets of animations that are available right now. We're also going to talk about the new integration with how you can sign in. So the next thing which we will look at, which is the third thing, is the integration of aero dimension and also substance. Well, this is an entire family package right here. So it's no huge deal to actually see all of those things happening. I'm very excited about the characters and also about the animations. But then let's talk about logging in. Now, if you want to log in, you would notice that you have three ways of logging in. Previously, it was just two, but now we can now see that you can continue with Apple. So if in case you want to log in now and you have an Apple account, then you can tie your Apple account to your Adobe account. So let's get into the characters. So in case you want to make characters for yourself, you could literally make these characters for yourself by using Mixamo, you know, Fuse. But then if you want to play with the brand new characters, you need to sign in and then you can get access to this. So once we sign in, you would be able to select characters where you can see characters you want to play with. Or you can switch over to where you can get animations that you want to work with. Alright, so we're going to start out with one of the very cool ones, which is the pirate. And you know, previously in Mixer Mode, they do have some very, very interesting, interesting characters. But now you find some 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 crazy some cool ones depending on what kind of characters you like here we have a pirate which is really cool i i can see a lot of use case for this reminds me of captain barbosa yep and then you can see we have a creature here as well depending on what you want to use this for you know you could actually whip this directly in zbrush and make some changes if you're into rigging you can literally rig this part and and go in and make some changes i have not checked out this if it has facial animation and by default in case you're wondering yes some characters here or most characters from mixer mode they do have facial animation i kind of like crypto as well and this is actually one i would like to play with probably i might use this for the thumbnail i don't know i don't know yet and zorp you also looks good and yeah looks really really cool reminds me of the creature from hellboy i can't remember the name right now to so james my man james looks good james looks good so depending on what you want to do these characters are here and the characters about 121 there is also this very cool construction guy i kind of like let me see if i can find that and yeah this is the character on the on the page yeah, there's this cool construction dude. I like the fact that he has some cool beards. Reminds me of, you know, characters that you can make directly with Fuse. Really, really cool stuff. So depending on what you want to create, you can come here, get the characters that suit what you want. So if you want to do some kicking, you know, some punching, some jumping, some ninja tricks, there's a ninja guy for you. You want uh, Lewis to actually go to work for you. Yeah, you can you can get that here as well. There are also characters that you can find here as well. So you can check these things out, get the racer to do some bike racing for you. Very generic character. You can change the cloth 
as much as you want and i kind of like sophia a lot so you can get sophie as well now with these out of the way let's talk about the animations so you kind of like these animations a lot so let's talk about them so for the animations what i regularly do is just say 96 per page so it gets to give you 96 different animations per page instead of just going you know 48 by 48 you see a long list of, of things so there is now packs so you can now see the male injured pack that is here and there is still another pack which is the locomotion pack so you can get the locomotion pack you can get the magic locomotion pack as well previously in mixa mode these things were split in different different places so you can also see the sword shield and it will make it way more easier for you to have these things organized you can also see the female locomotion in case you want to work with that as well so now it is way more organized uh, i mean in ways that you can find things and how you can work with these things if you want to check out how you can get these motions from here apply them to a character links is going to be in the description check out the end notes and also check out the cards and yeah you can literally find out how you can play with this so these are the animations that are here now and if you're new to mixamo and you're trying to find animations that you want to see or probably you want to filter these animations uh there are ways that you can do this so if you click over here you're going to find different genre of animations and then you can select them so if i want to get something that has to do with adventure combat fantasy if you want to try something that has to do with superhero stuff then you're going to find superhero stuff from here as well and you can still type in to search for stuff so right now if i want to get a kick i can search for a kick here and you're going to find a whole lot of kicking you know so just in case you want to kick a whole lot of things you can you can kick here kick as much as you like and same thing also goes for posing so in case you're also looking for poses you know instead of going one page at a time you can also type the word pose and you would get a lot of poses uh, for now when you look at these you'll be like well, where are the poses so just scroll all the way down and yep you'll find all of the poses so uh, i think we're going to find one cool pose here it says female crouch pose okay our model is not a female but then let's see what can we do all right looks good looks good looks good okay so we're going to find a very good pose for our for our model okay so this doesn't look bad kind of reminds me of deadpool and that's gonna be about it i would like to know what you guys think about this in the comment section would you like to play with these characters brand new characters i gotta tell you or would you like to play with the animations and tell me what your thoughts are in the comment section and i would also like to ask before we go how many of you guys are quite interested about motion capture please put that in the comment section if you want to see more videos about that and yeah that's going to be about it i would like to know what your thoughts are in the comment section and if you like this video you know what to do go ahead and give it a like and don't forget to turn on the notification and if you're new here it's going to be amazing if you can hit the subscribe button and also turn on the notification so you don't miss the next video and until i see you guys again with a tutorial update free friday tutorial tuesday tips and tricks things like this peace